do you like granola bars? Have you ever bought a granola bar? Have you ever thought about how much it costs to actually make one of these yourself? Yes, yes, curious? Well, find out. Let's go with the Nature Valley Crunchy Oats and Honey Granola Bar as a reference point. A pack of five of these sell for £2.39 and that's 210 grams. So each bar is 48p and they are 42 grams each. The ingredients to the list doesn't list all the percentages for the ingredients. But from what I can work out from the nutritional information, um, it's about 59% oats, 23% sugar, 16% of the oil and 2% of the honey. That's for the purpose of the calculation because there's other things in there like molasses, salt, uh, raising agents, various bits and bobs. But I'm assuming they're not going to take up a whole lot of the percentage of the weight of the final product. So that means for every pound you spend buying that pack of five bars, you are getting 52 grams worth of the oats, 20 grams worth of the sugar, 14 grams of the oil and two of the honey. A pack of Quaker oats for a kilo is two pounds. A kilo of Tate and Lyle sugar is one pound nine p. The Flora sunflower oil is two pound thirty five for one liter, and the rose honey is four pound forty nine for six hundred eighty grams. So from the Nature Valley pack, for every pound you are getting fifty two grams of oats, whereas a pack of a kilo of Quaker oats is two pounds. I just thought that is worth highlighting. So if you were to make a granola bar using the same proportion of ingredients as the Nature Valley granola bar, you are spending 25 peas worth on the oats, 5p on the sugar, um, 8p on the sunflower oil and 3p on the honey. And that is 41p to make the same as the five granola bars, which makes each bar 8p. Compared to buying the pack for £2.39, or each bar coming out as 48. That makes the pack £1.98 cheaper to buy the ingredients, or each bar 40p cheaper. On something that costs 48p, it is 40p cheaper to buy the ingredients. So if you buy the ingredients, you are getting for each pound you spend, 304 grams of oats, 119 of sugar, 83 of the oil, and 10 peas worth of the honey. So that means by making it yourself, you can save 40p per bar. So if you're eating five of these a week, so let's say one every day as a snack, that would mean that you can save two pounds in a week, and that will come out to 104 pounds in a year that you would save by cooking the granola bars yourself. And if you're having two each day, one in the morning as a snack, one in the afternoon, then you'd be saving four pounds a week and 208 pounds in the year by making granola bars. Granola bars. Okay, but to save that money, you've got to make it yourself, right? Well, there's plenty of recipes out there. That, and generally, they say it takes about 30 minutes to make a batch of these. And that batch size can, can be different. You can make a lot in one go if you have a larger baking tray and you're going to eat a lot. Um, and when they say 30 minutes, it's more like 10 minutes of mixing stuff up in a bowl and then 10 minutes in the oven and five minutes getting the ingredients and then like another few chopping up the granola bars so it's not even really 30 minutes of work especially if you're not literally watching it get cooked in the oven if you go away 15 minutes whilst in the oven you come back then it's not even 30 minutes but let's say for the purposes of calculation it's 30 minutes to cook a batch and let's say you make 20 of these bars in one go so that would be a month's supply if you were having one a day or two weeks supply if you're having two a day. But if you make a batch of these, you are saving eight pounds by making that batch. And since it takes half an hour, that means for every hour you spend cooking the, making the granola bars, you are saving yourself 16 pounds or making yourself 16 pounds, whichever way you want to look at it. Which isn't bad considering the granola bars that take like a minute for you to eat. And I haven't even discussed how much these things cost to buy if you get them from the vending machine or a convenience store. It's cheaper if you buy them as a pack of five from Sainsbury's, Waitrose, Ocado, Asda, Morrison's, wherever, from a supermarket. But if you get them individually at other places, they can knock up the price a lot. It's up to each person what the time is worth, what the effort is worth, how much time or effort they're willing to spend to save so much money. Um, I just want to give you the facts that you can be saving 
about 16 pounds an hour by making these yourself. One thing is, if you are making these yourself and you use different ingredients, the price will obviously be different because the cheap ingredients are oats and sugar and oil. So if you're putting nuts in there, it's going to be more expensive. You put it dried fruit, um, instead of sugar, you're putting in um, syrup or honey, more honey or coconut nectar, agave syrup, different kinds of nuts, different grains, peanut butter, chocolate, cinnamon, whatever you want. You can put it in there, you can customize as you like, but the prices will be different. The world is your granola bar. What if you're a family? Mum, dad, two children. And everyone has a granola bar each day. Or let's say they have one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So that's eight granola bars that you go through as a family per day, or 40 a week. You'd be saving 16 pounds in a week, or 832 pounds in a year by making granola bars. But let's come back to the point. Instead of buying these packs of Nature Valley granola bars, if you were to make them yourself, you would be saving £1.98 per each pack of these, or 40p per bar, and each bar will cost 8p. So if you were eating five of these in a week, by making this yourself, you could be saving £104 per year by cooking it yourself. But if you eat more than one a day, then you'd be saving even more money or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you haven't been buying these granola bars because you'd rather be saving money, but now for eight p per bar, you could make these yourself and have them as you like. So that's opening up a whole new opportunity by cooking things yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a comment if there's something you'd like me to analyze or dissect next. Hit that bell button to stay tuned to my analysis on the cost of foods. Um, the new things that I'm discovering in the shops or just exotic foods that I'm trying and the taste test that I do to help you pick the right food product for your own personal tastes. Thanks very much and have a tasty day.